Hi guys, today I am back to film a collective Ulta haul for you. Um, some of you guys might be a little sick of seeing the Ulta hauls because I'm not going to lie, I am a little bit too, but I'm hoping I'll upload this quite a bit later. But as of right now when I'm filming it, it is the beginning of the 21 Days of Beauty and Ulta has sent out a ton of like PR like packages for the 21 Days of Beauty to YouTubers. Um, like I know today I watched That Girl Shay XO, um, Lizzie, What Would Lizzie Do? And there's like another one too and I'm like, you guys all got like Ulta PR packages with like the 21 Days of Beauty beauty steals in them for free? I want all that. The only thing is, is Ulta did technically pay for this haul because I'm an employee but I mean that's, that's different. Um, but anyways, it's probably going to be quite a long haul, so I would grab something to drink. I clearly already have because I think I'm getting sick. I've been coughing a lot. My throat's been really dry. So I borrowed my boyfriend's BB-8 cup and I'm using that because <laughs> it's really cute. We bought it when we were at Disneyland. Well, actually, he didn't even buy it. He was looking all over for them and his brother found it somewhere and bought it for him. So that was pretty nice, um, but it's a cool little cup. So I'm like, I'm going to steal it for the day. But I do have this huge... Ulta bag full of things um, and it's like I said a collective haul so it wasn't just one trip a lot of it has been this last week because it was three times the beauty or three times the points um, and then after that it was 21 days of beauty so I had to pick up some things then too um, but I'm just gonna grab things and get started some of these things I did post on my Instagram which I will mention it here or in the description box but I created an Instagram page to go with my beauty channel so you can follow me on there and I will follow you right back because um, I'm pretty much just following everybody on Instagram. I just think it's kind of easier that way because um, especially on YouTube I feel like I really the more people I subscribe to the more I miss out on videos like my YouTube like can't keep up with it or something. I don't know it's weird. So if you follow me on Instagram I will follow you there that's kind of another way I can know if people post new videos, but I'm going to get into the haul now because we've been talking for a few minutes already. This is the thing I have to say I am really excited for and had no idea that this was coming. This is the Urban Decay Urban Essentials Kit. Eye Essentials Kit? Essentials Eye Kit. Um, packaging. Beautiful. Stunning. Urban Decay always blows it out of the park with packaging, um, but it's like in a little sleeve. And then the actual box looks like this as well. Um, but I had no idea that Urban was coming out with this. They do have a vault too, which is on the all the website. Um, but I didn't see that in store. I don't think they do those usually in store. Um, but this comes with three eyeshadows, a little mini deluxe eyeshadow primer potion, and then three full-size eyeliners. So the eyeshadows are Bordello, Sellout, and Psychedelic Sister. I swatched all of these and I love them. I mostly bought this kit for Bordello because I was going to pick up Bordello in a single shadow. And my particular Ulta quit carrying Bordello in the single. So when I saw that it was in this kit, I was like, oh, that would be such a great way to get it. Um, but Sellout and Psychedelic Sister are both really, really pretty too. Psychedelic Sister is kind of the typical Urban Decay purple. Um, or at least that's what I think of when I swatch it. And then the eyeliners are another great thing because it has a full size of Demolition, which I've talked about before, is one of my favorite like dark matte brown eyeliners. And I only had a sample size, so I haven't really used mine a ton. That and I've been panning the Ulta Automatic liner, so I'm really happy to have a full size in here. They also give you Psychedelic Sister in a liner, which is really, really pretty. It's a lot more pigmented than the shadow is. I mean, I feel like it's kind of obvious, but it's really nice. And then they also give you a full size of zero, which it's black eyeliner. Everybody needs that. But this kit was $49. So, I mean, about the cost of like an eyeshadow palette. But if you think about it, like two eyeshadows or two liners, that's almost 40 bucks right there. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, that's why I picked it up too, is just, I was like, well, that's a really good deal. And I didn't think we'd have them for long. We had a lot of them. But I was like, I just could see these like flying off the shelf and being gone. This is a product that I have already talked about on Instagram because it was a little haul. Um, but Eat Close is actually all on clearance at my Ulta. We are no longer carrying it, at least in my store. I don't know if that goes true for the entire like Ulta, like all Ultas or um, online, that kind of thing. But at least in my store and the store that I used to work at, they are both on clearance at those locations. So I decided to pick up the anti-aging starter kit. Um, but this comes with, let me see comes with the, the Daily Facial Cleansing Oil, 
the Skin Prep Cleanser, the Cell Activator Face Serum, the Moisture Therapy Regenerative Cream, the Restorative Eye Cream, and then the Skin Renewal Clay Mask, and then it does come with a free little like headband to keep your hair out of your way. Um, so I'm excited to try this. I haven't really tried too many of the things out of here. The mask I think is kind of like a one or time use, one or two time use product. It's just like a little packet. Um, but they're just like little sample size products, so I'll show you something really quick. Like this is the, this is the face cream. So you can see they're just like little sample size things. But I figured that would be a good way to try out some more Eclose products. Um, and if I really like anything, I can go back and pick up some more stuff because it'll all still be on clearance. So I know I wanted to pick up their makeup setting mist, but I was afraid it would be too hydrating and it would have kind of a... I don't know, with my really oily skin, I was just afraid it was going to be kind of a bad combination. So I might still pick up that. I haven't decided yet. I picked up some Soap and Glory products. Um, I don't have a ton of Soap and Glory stuff. I think I only have one. I think I just have that breakfast smoothie scrub. But I really like that, and I kind of wanted to try some more products from them. So I picked up two more because they were buy one, get one 50% off. And honestly, I would have wished I would have picked up a lot more stuff from their line. But I'll save that for another time. Um, so this is the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Fresh and Foamy Body Wash. I haven't used this yet, but it smells really, really good. Um, it, a lot of people said it smells like Sprite or like Sierra Mist, like some kind of lemon, lime, citrusy pop. And I agree, it's got that same like kind of sweet but lemony lime scent to it. So I'm really excited to try this out because I'm already in love with the scent. The other product I picked up is more for my boyfriend just because I mentioned with the scrub, he's been having issues with his feet kind of being dry and cracked and just gross. So I picked up the Heal Genius Amazing Foot Cream. This is really cool. I have used it once or twice. It's kind of like a gel cream. Um, it comes out blue, um, but it's a really light blue color. I'll try to like show you there. But it absorbs into your skin pretty quickly. I'd say fairly quickly. Um, but it makes your feet feel super soft. So it's nice because it absorbs into your skin really quickly, but it does make them feel really soft right away. So I'm excited to see kind of what's going to happen with like continued use of this. Because um, I'm really hoping for some dramatic results on him. Cause I talked about in a get ready with me I did pretty recently, a couple, couple days ago, um, how I had pretty much narrowed down my foundation collection quite drastically. And one of the things is I was like, well, I still want kind of something like a newer foundation to play with. Um, I know I still have a lot of like new ones like the Kat Von D and the Makeup Forever stick, but I decided to go back to this because it has been like two or three years I think since I've used this. It is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I just was really wanting something that was going to be lightweight this summer. Um, I was kind of more wanting like a BB cream or something, which the Smashbox BB water is on sale for like half off. I almost picked that up. I kind of am still thinking about it because it's a hot buy, so it's on sale the entire 21 days of beauty um but off track anyways i just wanted a really lightweight foundation for summertime and i've been really really liking x barkage's videos um every time she does a video i'm just like her skin looks so amazing and i know this is a foundation that she uses quite frequently and she says it's like holy grail for her um and then i actually picked up her other holy grail foundation too but i will talk about that in a minute so i picked this up i got it in the shade 0.5 because I normally get it in the point, well, the 1.0, um, and that's more yellow, and the 0.5 is more pink. But I just remember I swatched the point, the 1.0, and it just seemed really yellow, so I was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get the 0.5 and try it out. If it's not the right color, I'll just take it back and get the 1.0, but I was like, let's try this one that's a little more pink. It's not, it's not obnoxiously pink either, though, so it might work really well for me. We'll see. A skincare product I got. This is the Tony Moly Bubble Mask Sheet. It says bubble peeling on it. Um, I'm guessing this is kind of what the mask looks like here. Like it just kind of covers the bottom half of your face. But I think this is supposed to kind of help with pores. Yeah. Okay. So just reading the back of this, it sounds like it is going to basically clean out your pores. It's going to be kind of a charcoal but like foaming bubbly mask, which I think is really, really cool. I love the Bliss like triple oxygen bubble mask. That is so cool. Um, so I'm kind of excited that this one has charcoal in it and I'm excited to see if it's going to do anything for my pores because I feel like that has been kind of a bigger issue for me is they're just, they're a lot more noticeable than they usually are. They're just a little more clogged lately too I've noticed so I've been trying to kind of pinpoint if there's like a foundation or something that's making them a little bit more clogged but 
excited to try this and plus it says it helps with like sebum which is oil so that'll kind of help my skin not be so oily because I feel like it's starting to get really oily. This was also in my little Instagram haul and I think it is probably one of the coolest products I've ever seen. It is the Panda's Dream Brightening Eye Base. It looks exactly the same as the So Cool Eye Stick pretty much except for this is white on the bottom and this one's black. Um, but this is like the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk but in like a little stick. Um, it's just a white little eyeshadow base, so it's really, I think, really cool. Mine's like a little gross looking, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on my hand, but I just watched it. So I'm excited to try this out and see, you know, if it's an actual decent eyeshadow base. Um, plus it comes in like the cutest packaging ever with this little panda. So I'm excited to try that out. This was also in that little Instagram haul. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I am really, really loving my Ulta one, but I kind of wanted to try this because it is a little bit cheaper um, and it's a little closer to the Benefit Give Me Brow because when you open it, you can actually see the little fibers in it that help kind of build up your brows. Um, that and the wand is a little bit different than the Ulta one too, so I picked this up because a lot of you guys were telling me it's exactly the same as the Benefit Give Me Brow. So I'm excited to see how this works. I'm just going to keep working on the Ulta one until I finish it, and then I'll try that one out. NYX is buy one get 50% off right now until the end of the 21 Days of Beauty, so I picked up a couple products from them. First is the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. This is just my favorite. Um, I decided to not wait until NYX with 40% off because I was like, maybe they're not going to be doing that anymore. Um, of course, I'm sure now that I pick this up, we'll be doing it like really soon. But this is just my holy grail favorite primer. I love this. It mattifies my skin, fills in my pores really nicely, um, and just kind of gives me like a nice soft effect to my face. And it just makes, you know, foundation look so much better on top of it. So this is my favorite. The other NYX product I picked up, and I'm a little unsure about it, but it's the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. Supposedly waterproof. Um, it does say it has a dewy finish, which I'm, that's I think what I'm iffy about is because I'm like, I really don't know that I want a dewy under eye concealer. I don't want it to be so matte that it looks dry and cakey under there, but I don't, I don't want my mascara to transfer and that kind of thing because it's dewy. Um, and definitely swatching this, it's a little more pink than I kind of would like, but I think I can kind of deal with that. Um, I'm just mostly worried about the dewy, dewy finish of this, but it does seem like it's going to have really good coverage. So I've kind of heard, I think, kind of mixed reviews about this. I think for the most part, though, it's been pretty good. Um, I don't feel like I've heard that many people talk about it, though. So we'll kind of see how this goes. Another product from the Instagram haul were some L'Oreal products. Because at the time they were buy two, get one free. I want to say now I think they're just buy one, get 50% off. But I did pick up three things. Um, this I picked up, I believe Tati recommended this. It is the Brow Stylist Definer. And I think she said this is an exact dupe for the Anastasia Dip Brow. Or not Dip Brow. The Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, I don't know if I agree though because I just feel like, like I have it on today. And I really like it for when I want more natural looking brows like this. But I feel like it's really hard to fill in my brows with this. So the way I use this is I actually take a brow gel fill in the majority of my brows and then I just kind of go around and fill in any sparse areas or kind of you know more outline the edges with this um, but to actually like fill in my brows with this I don't know why it just doesn't really work for me so I do really like it but I don't think it's like I like the NYX micro brow pencil better or the Anastasia brow is they just fill in my whole brow a lot better than this does but as you can see it does have a fine little tip there so I get kind of what she's saying um, I haven't really tried the spoolie on the end though. I don't know, it just seems kind of, the bristles just seem really short, like they would just wipe off the product almost. So I haven't really tried the spoolie out, but maybe I'll try that. The other thing, complaint kind of about the brow stylist definer is I think there's only three colors. Mine's in blonde, but I want to say there's like blonde, like a medium brown, and then a dark brown, and that's it. So even the micro brow pencil too has more color shades like the Anastasia Dipper. I always want to say dip brow, but it's the brow is. So, I don't know. I'm kind of liking that one. Kind of not. But I think I'll definitely keep it and at least use it up and kind of go from there on whether I want to repurchase it or not. The other product I picked up here is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. Um, I'm kind of picking this up for a dupes video. I'm kind of comparing it to a more high-end product I have and see how it compares. 
Um, I haven't got to do the comparison yet, so I don't really know for sure um, if they're exact dupes, but I'm hoping they will be. Um, I'm not going to lie, the Pro Matte Gloss thing kind of throws me off a little bit, but when I tried it on, it was really, really pretty and very matte and nice. It's kind of almost like a like creamy matte lipstick a little bit, so I'm kind of excited to try that out. And then lastly, I picked up the Infallible Matte Matic Mechanical Eyeliner. I used this in my Get Ready With Me that I filmed a couple days ago, and it just was not... It was not going on my upper lash line hardly at all. It was really, really dry. Um, so I ended up wearing it in my waterline and it held up pretty well. I want to say by the end of like eight or nine hours though, it had kind of all creeped to my outer corner and was kind of just making a mess out here. Um, but otherwise I think it wore on the lower waterline pretty well. And I usually have a lot of trouble getting eyeliners to wear really well down there. so. This has potential. I don't think I love it and I'm probably not going to repurchase it because um, I want a liner that I can use on my upper lash line and on my waterline and this just kind of can only do one of them. So probably not going to repurchase that. I also picked these up and I've used them once and I have really mixed feelings about them but it is the Garnier Skin Active Clean Plus Purifying Oil Free Cleansing Towelettes. Um, I think these are like the charcoal ones. I'm assuming that's why they're black. Um, Never mind, they are the charcoal ones. They say that right there. Um, but anyways, I've just... I use this as a makeup remover wipe because it does say instantly draws out dirt, oil, and makeup. So I kind of took that to mean like it could be a makeup remover wipe and I just... It doesn't it doesn't do a good enough job. Because um, if I use this and then I take a you know little round cotton pad with like my micellular water and go over my whole face, I'm still taking off makeup. So this does not get all the makeup off. So I feel like this is probably going to be something more just like a quick little cleanser for my face not really like a makeup remover wipe um, and I was kind of more looking for makeup remover wipes so I'm a little disappointed in this but um, I'll go ahead and use them up because they're wipes I'll find a use for them so another like new line or new product at Ulta is the Fiona Styles line and I'm not gonna lie I've wanted to pick up pretty much everything from her line um, I wanted to get one of the contour palettes some of the foundation uh, eyeshadow quad there were some of the things I wanted, but I settled for a lip product for now. Um, I'm kind of waiting to see a little bit more reviews. I feel like I have seen quite a few that have been pretty good for it, but the main thing with her line is it's supposed to be user friendly, and I really do think like looking at her products, they do seem like they could be pretty user friendly. Um, but this is the Color Impact Matte Lip Crayon, and this is in the color Rockaway. It's another nude because that's what I always pick up, I feel like, but it's just kind of like a little rounded crayon. I did wear this for a little while just to try it out um, and I think it seems like it's gonna be really nice and again kind of goes with the whole user-friendly thing because um, you really don't need like a lip liner with this. It's pretty, even though it's kind of a fatter pencil, it is pretty easy to get precise with it and it does smell a little bit. It's kind of got the like MAC lipstick smell. It's this really sweet like vanilla one um, but I don't feel like it's too strong or obnoxious or anything, so really not too bad. Plus, all the packaging for her products is really pretty. It's this beautiful, like, dark, metallic-y purple color. Um, so if you get, like, any of the palettes and stuff, it'll have this really pretty purpley metallic packaging <laughs> that everybody seems to be kind of mes mesmerized by, so... Next, I picked up some Makeup Revolution products. This I picked up for a video coming up, but this is the Makeup Revolution, what is this? The Redemption Eyeshadow Palette Iconic 1. They have Iconic 1, 2, and 3, just like the Naked palettes. So this is the one that's supposed to be like the Naked 1, 2 is supposed to be like the Naked 2, and 3 is like the Naked 3. They also had a Naked, sm or not a Naked Smoky, but they had like a Iconic Smoky palette or something, but that one, the colors I think were really different than what the actual... Urban Decay smoke, Smoky Palette looks like, so that one wasn't really a dead-on dupe, um, but I wanted to pick this up because I'm going to be using this in a video, so we'll see that again soon. The other thing I picked up, and I think this is really interesting, I'm excited to try this, because um, again, I haven't really heard anybody talk about it, but I think these are new. So this is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Strobe Balm, and this is in the color Euphoria. There is also one, I think, in the color like Hypnotic or something like that. Um, that one was kind of more gold, and I wanted that one, but nobody nobody had that one. We might have had that one at my work, but I don't think we did. I want to say we just had this one. So I'm going to try to show this to you guys. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but it is more pinky. 
I feel like camera just looks like a white balm. <laughs> but it's super creamy. And it kind of has like a, I don't know, like a pink duochrome to it. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see the swatch on my hand. But this is really pretty. It's pretty in person. It just may not pick up very well on camera. Um, so I'm going to try this. I think I'm going to try this and then maybe layer some powder highlighters on top to see like if it really intensifies them. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try that. I also picked up another cream highlighter because I'm just really into them lately. Um, I've even been kind of enjoying my Benefit What's Up, which is weird. I've had my eye on this forever and I've wanted it. And for some reason, I always talk myself out of it. Um, I think just because the Benefit What's Up, I'm not a huge fan of that. Like I said, I'm getting a little bit more to the point where I'm liking that one. Um, but I think that's why I always talk myself out of this one is because the Benefit What's Up. But this is the Smashbox... LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color and it's in Hollywood and Highlight. This is so beautiful. It's so pretty. I always think that it's going to be too dark, but it's never, in my opinion, it's never too dark. So I did a really big swatch of it right there. There's just this beautiful, really light highlight color. Um, it's very, very creamy. Just kind of, you know, a big chubby stick and it does like twist up. But the other end has a little sponge to help you like blend it out. I don't know if, how well, eh, I might use it. It doesn't, it's doing a pretty good job, I guess. We'll just kind of have to play with that more, but it just comes with like a little dense sponge to help blend it out. So I'm glad I picked this up. Smashbox does have a $49 kit with this in it. Um, I believe it comes with this in a full size, comes with a full size photo finish primer, their original primer, which is so popular. And it also comes with something else. I can't remember what the other product is, but I want to say that one's full size too, or at least it's a really good sample size one. Um, and I thought about picking it up, but I was like, I don't really love the primer that much. Like it's a nice primer, but I just didn't really want to be stuck with a primer that I knew I wasn't going to love. So I just picked up the stick because that's really what I wanted. And then lastly, I said there was another foundation. This is the Japanese Luminous Foundation. Again, another expert good recommendation. I'm a little nervous about this because it is a luminous foundation, but I mean, even if it's a foundation I can only wear for a few hours, I'll kind of, I think, be okay with that because it's just so beautiful. Um, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be like overly dewy. It seems like it's just going to have this really pretty glow to it more than anything. It's actually on sale at Ulta too, just like the Smashbox, um, the BB water that you could pick up. And again, it's half off, so I think this is originally 36 and it's on sale for 18 my Ulta that I used to work at has the full Japanese line, but the one that I transferred to, it doesn't. Um, for some reason, we had two of the foundations, though. We had shade number two and number four. Of course, I needed shade number one, though, so I had to drive to my old store and pick this up there. Um, but I've just swatched this so far. It seems like it's going to be a really great color match for me, which oh, makes me so happy. Um, because I had to deal with foundations not matching, like, pretty much all month, and that's just been kind of annoying. Um, but I'm really excited to try this out and see, you know, is it really dewy or luminous? I'm just kind of see what it's like. So that was the other like kind of big sale item I think I picked up from the 21 Days of Beauty. Um, I went right away on the first day of 21 Days of Beauty. And so the beauty steal was the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores like loose powder. I really, really wanted to pick that up, but I'm technically, as an employee, I'm not allowed to pick it up until almost closing time. Um, that way, everybody else has a chance to get it first. So I wouldn't have been able to pick it up at 5 o'clock. I wouldn't have been able to pick it up till 5 o'clock. Um, and I think I was there at, like, noon. So I was like, I'm not going to hang out for five hours just to see if we run out of this powder or not. Because if we run out, then obviously I can't get any. Um, I could have ordered it online, I think, but... I don't know. I just didn't feel like doing that because I don't get my discount on top of the beauty steals either. I just get the beauty steal price. Um, except for like the hot buys. The hot buys you do get your your discount on top of, but the beauty steals you don't. So even though I wanted it, I didn't pick it up. Um, I'm kind of debating about because there is a ton of beauty steals I do want. But again, if I can't really use my discount, I don't know if I want to because I could get the product for that same price if I used my discount and some points. So I don't know. I could get it for that same price or cheaper. So I'm just, I really don't know. But 
that is it for this collective haul. I think I am really done now. Um, I know there are still a couple Tarte things I want to pick up and a couple like Fiona style things I want to pick up, but I think I'm really done with like the big hauls. I think it's going to be just kind of little one or two things from here on out because I am kind of really setting myself some goals on cutting back on how much makeup I've been buying because it's just, it's been a lot since Christmas. So I'm really cutting back on how much I'm getting. Um, and I'm going to go back to setting myself kind of a limit every month on how much I can spend because that does seem to work really well for me. It kind of makes me think a little bit more when I'm picking stuff up because um, I know I've had a lot of returns too. So yeah, kind of prevents me from impulse buying as much too. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.